Hi again, Pam. Hi. Hi, Steph. How are Hello. you? Hello. It's good to it's good to finally meet back up with you. Yes. Yes. So it's been a couple of weeks. Have you touched base with Colin? I have. I have. He was very helpful. Okay. And so tell me what's new. Well, we're registered for classes. Awesome. Yep. For and which program again? Human services. Okay. Mm -hmm. And ready to start summer term? Summer term. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. So what about financial aid? Well, I'm, I'm finishing the paperwork on that. He's kind of helping me with that. Okay. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, has your living situation, are you still um, with the Sojourner's House in Sparta? I am. I am. Okay. It's been going quite well. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. I've heard such great things about that. Yeah. Yeah. How is they great. really, they really use a holistic approach. Mm -hmm. We have a few, few folks that are having a harder time. I think I'm doing quite well considering. Wonderful. Well, the, well, the fact that um, you're taking that extra step and wanting to pursue your education is, is something that you're never going to regret. So I really commend you on that. Yeah. Pam. Thanks. Thanks. I'm excited. I'm excited about it. I, I think I have something to pay forward. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's wonderful. So tell me um, if you had like a crystal ball, mm -hmm. what would you be doing in your dream job? That's why I'm kind of like struggling. I'm not quite sure. I, I know I want to help others because I've yep. been through so much myself and I'd like to be somewhat of a counselor you know, yeah. cheerleader in some, some, you know, sense, but I, I don't know what that would look like. I don't, I'm not quite sure. Okay. So if I remember correctly, um, you've struggled for the last couple, several years, um, with, with addiction, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're currently in recovery. I am. Yeah. And congratulations. Thanks. It's been six months already. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Um, so, you know, um, I know that there's a lot of opportunities um, with the human services program. Many folks um, that start with that program don't end there and they continue their education for social work and, and counseling at Lake Winona State or Viterbo. But, um, you know, it, some people just stop with the associate's degree because human services is an associate's degree. So do you have like a specific time frame, or are you just where what are you kind of visualizing with how long you want to be in school you know now that I'm kind of back on my feet and things are going better I want to get my kids back first and foremost and I want yep. to be able to provide for them yes so if I can get a job and try to get through schooling maybe the first just two-year program mm -hmm. and then once I'm working and things are better I could maybe go on to a four year because I would really like that to be able to do a, be a counselor. So let me, let me clarify. So do you have custody of your children and how many children do you have? I have two. Okay. So are they with the father right now or uh, they're, they're with my mom? Oh, they're with your mom. Okay. Okay. So uh, do you see them regularly or? I do. Yep. Yep. I get to see them probably four times a week. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I know. I know. What it's a cool. blessing. It, it is. It is. And they're motivators too. Kids sure are. Oh yes. Yes. They're, they're young and they're, you know, in school and, um, you know, it's I bet you they're proud of their mom for well, going back well, to college. I hope so. I don't know if they know the whole story, but I think they are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wonderful. Well, if, if not, they will be soon. Um, and you'll be able to share some of that with them and what a great connection and a good positive way to kind of move forward. It's I hope so. Wonderful. I just want to be the best mom I can be to them. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Be able to provide, provide for them. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Mom. Mm -hmm. And taking it one step at a time is important, you know, yep. um, and Six not months. expecting not mm -hmm. expecting perfection. Um, and, and just taking it one step at a time is super important. And you're taking that step. And I, I really want to say that, um, Western has wonderful, wonderful people and support people and resources here on campus to help you. 
Wonderful. along the way academically. Um, you know, and, and we also have case managers who, who would have thought that oh. if you have problems, um, you know, with anything like basic mm. needs stuff, transportation, things like that. Really? Uh, Lauren Jankowski is um, one of our case managers. We actually have two on campus and oh. um, I'm going to really get you in contact with Lauren in particular. Okay. And um, she is just wonderful. I'm going to connect you to um, because she can really help with some of those things that go unnoticed, um, but can really yeah. cause some, some, some hardships for, for some students that I've noticed. Um, great. I will. So that's one thing I wanted to talk to you about. Um, so that's kind of like the, the financial thing, but you know, um, the fact that you're in transitional housing is just a wonderful thing. How yeah. long is the stay there? Cause well, I know I, some of them range. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. I think I can stay a couple more months. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. So the goal is, um, to kind of make sure that you're on your feet to get yourself yeah. set up. Um, okay. Wonderful. So, uh, is it possible that you, when you are, um, transitioning out of the transitional house, are you going to be getting your own apartment or would you be going with your children? With I your mom? think I'm going to be able to stay at my mom's. She's okay. To stay there. Yep. And it's, it's a good environment for us. And okay. she's, she's been really very helpful with okay. the kids and, and supportive of me. So. So are you in, is your mom in, where, where is she located? She's here in La Crosse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I know that many of the um, program or the classes are face-to-face -face in the human services program. So I just wanted to make oh. sure um, before I talk to you about um, right. transportation, right. Um, but there are options um, for transportation as a student. Um, yeah. You get free access to the a bus and the smart bus with a with a student ID. So Perfect. I wanted you to know that. That as well. is wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So um, you know, keep keep in contact with that. You just need to get the student ID and you have to actually request that right now with COVID. Um, you actually have to fill out the form and I can send that link to you. That would be um, from the website but and then was, they will send you an actual that would yeah. help. Um okay, so uh, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. So let's go, let's circle back. You mentioned that you wanted to provide, but you wanted to, part of it was getting a job. Now, are you thinking full-time school and part-time work or part-time work, part-time school? What are you kind of thinking? I, I think I need to ease into school, maybe part-time and probably okay. work full-time. I want to be able to help my mom. Help Do they allow you to work full-time at the transitional house? Well, I don't know if they will allow that there. So by okay. the time I get back and I'm living with mom, I'd like to be full time. Yes. Okay. You know, because I think it's important number the um one of the first things for your for your mental health and for your recovery is to concentrate on on your recovery. Mm -hmm. Um I know that for past students that I've worked with, this is really important. Yeah. Um and so to ease into school, I like that idea. Um, to kind of, especially for the first, first mm -hmm. term here in the summer. Um, so when you're registering for classes, let's, let's look at that and sure. kind of make sure that your load is manageable. Oh, that would be wonderful. Yeah. Cause I really trying to keep stress at bay. <laughs> yes. Yep. And I think that's key. So you can always add on more in, right. in subsequent uh, yeah. terms, but let's start out. I think um, that would be a wise, a wise thing. Um, just a couple of classes. So, um, what I we'll do be available a little more too. So I need to be there to help them out. And mom and I think we can work it out that while she's working, I'm home with the kids, or vice versa. So wonderful. And it's not, it's so important to have supportive people in your yeah. in your kind of court. Unfortunate, <laughs> unfortunate that way. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's wonderful. Not everybody is the, is is fortunate for that. So we that's like a great that. thing. Mm -hmm. Um, well, it sounds like, you know, a lot of those a lot of those things that I initially ask about, you know, like your living environment, your transportation yeah. and your support systems mm -hmm. seem as though um, you know, you've got that under control. 
um, yeah. especially with that transitional housing right now is just that that's wonderful that you can kind of right. get yourself back on track here. I'm kind of um, working through, you know, some anxiety and, and some depression, trying to keep that, you know, yep. overtaken. But I, I think things are on the up and up. So it's good. Have you, have they connected you with a, with a therapist yet? Um, I am seeing someone through Monroe County. But How's that going? It's going okay. I don't know if we're really connecting as well. Yeah. I'd hope. Well, well, you know what they say with therapists, you, you know, sometimes it's, it's not always, it's not always a perfect fit in that, you know, you can, you can try and out and experience different ones. Cause you want to make sure that, yeah. that you feel comfortable sharing the things that you need to share. There is another gal I think I'd maybe like to start talking to a little bit. So maybe I can put that request in. That's Good. Yeah, I would suggest it. They call it interviewing uh, your therapist. It's not um, a bad thing. Okay. I learned about that um, from a mentor of mine a couple of years ago, and I, I really, I, that stuck with me. Um, so I would encourage you to do the same. Okay. Because um, that's important. Um, mm -hmm to maintaining your mental health, especially okay. going in, going into school. Okay. Um, so it sounds like the next step is registering for classes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So do you know your advisor? I do. Yeah. You do. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, um, you know, another contact person, Keith Lease and Ann Licklider are the two instructors for the program. Um, human services program. They are absolutely wonderful. Uh, I used to work with Keith. He used to work uh, with me um, in the jails. And so um, they are going to be just wonderful um, resources oh, for you as I'm well. Excited. I'm excited. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, you know, um, I would say that connecting with your advisor is the next thing. Okay. Um, getting registered for some of those classes. No, I think summer classes start here in that second week of May. Okay. So you are doing all of the things that you need to be doing at this point to kind of right. get yourself ready. Um, I would just kind of say this. Think about how you're going to keep yourself organized. Are you going to want to take online classes or face-to-face -face classes? Um there's a big difference. We're probably going to be offering both here um, in the summer. Um, it being that COVID is kind of transitioning to the, a medium risk. So right. be thinking about which kind of mode you'd like to be okay. in your classes in. And um, from that point, you know, we can talk about more specifically on how you're going to keep yourself more organized, maybe in a, in a, in a, after you get registered. Does that sound, does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds great. I, I think the face to face will work best for me. Okay. And I and I think most of those classes in human services are offered face to face, um, just oh. because of the nature of the program. Um, but we'll have to see. And those are questions for your advisor. They'll be able to tell you, okay. you know, um what classes are offered this summer. That, so that will be great. Good. I look forward to that. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yeah. So um what other questions do you have for me at this point, Pam? Um Gosh, you've answered so many. Yeah, I think I think I covered everything that I needed to cover. Okay. I just think it's just I feel so um, excited for you and happy for you um, that you're kind of making this step. It's um, it's, it's got to feel good. It's got to feel I good. I should have done it five years ago, but oh, what it could have, shoulda. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. You're doing it now, and <laughs> okay. that's all that matters. Well, great, um, great. And so well, I'm excited. It'll be yes. fun. Wonderful. Well, how about I will um, maybe uh, text you um, or email you in the next couple of weeks so we can connect. Okay. I'll um, share my cell number with you. Mm -hmm. Yep. In yep. And um, we will chat and I'm going to try and run over, um, drop off a daily planner and maybe some goodies oh. for you before class starts. Oh, yes. You. And that would be sweet. I'd love yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, I wish you well, Pam, and we'll I'll look forward to talking to you okay. in a couple of weeks. Wonderful. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye.